This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Create the dessert class by declaring instant variables for specific attributes and refactor the cookie class to be a subclass of the dessert class. Ooh, a lot going on there. Let's start with dessert class and let's remember what an instance variable is. It's a variable for that class that's going to be related to whatever the uh, class is focused on. So let's see what we have. Our refactor the cookie class, uh, dessert class. So we need a flavor of dessert and the price, right? So it's the, the dessert class. So I'm just going to do a, um, the flavor will be uh, a string, of course, because it's going to be a word, right? So I'm going to do private, which is the access modifier. That means only items within this class, only code within this class can use it. Uh, don't let these terms scare you. You'll get the hang of this string, which means it's going to be letters or a sentence. And then what else do I need price and price is usually uh, going to be a decimal, which in Java is going to be a double, which just means decimal in Java. Okay. And then it's a good habit to get into uh, comments explaining things like this. So uh, cost of the dessert, things of this nature. If you find yourself repeating exactly the words, that are already here and it's not easy to not do that, you might not need comments. Comments are great and you should liberally use them, but you don't need to comment everything just to be clear. Okay, that being said, um, and then the cookie class. Oh, it looks like, what do they want? Refactor the cookie class to be a subclass of dessert. Okay, and so for it to be a subclass, we need extends dessert, right? And that means, okay, this cookie class now can access everything that's within our dessert class. So it will have a flavor and a price automatically. So I can go ahead and kill this off. No reason to have that because it's already going to inherit is what we call that. And, you know, I can add a, apparently they, oops, they do want to comment here. I could have stolen theirs, but, you know, uh, okay, cool and cool. Uh, in the food truck runner, instantiate a dessert object and a cookie object. Then print the instant variables for the dessert and the cookie object by calling gotcha. So all they're saying is make a new variable. So, or uh, and, and instantiate an object of a class, dessert. And I'll call my dessert, I have no idea. Yum is going to be equal to, and I want a new dessert class uh, or a new dessert object like this. And then I'll have a cookie and and I'll say it's a sugar cookie. I thought about that more than I'd like to admit. And I'll just say new cookie, blah, 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 right? You could even do like dessert with a lowercase here. So, but regardless, these will work. Name them whatever you want. And then they want us to print using calling this method. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it so I don't make an error. And I'll print out yum first. Oop. Paste. And then I'm going to do my cookie, which is sugar cookie, is what I did when I instantiated. And let's take a look. And this is looking great. So you can see the dessert class has flavor, price, and the cookie class has... Oh, and it even tells us inherited flavor and price and is chewy. Let's hit test. Awesome. Onward.